Welcome to Chisholm Trail 61. Today we fixing us a delicious casserole dish. We are gonna do a corn dog ground beef casserole. And I'm gonna show you how I do that coming up right now. Okay, first thing you're gonna need for your corn dog ground beef casserole is in the skillet here. I got about a pound and a half to two pounds of ground beef. And I'm just gonna brown that up real good and I'm going to chop it up. I'm going to add me one medium diced onion. Now I'm using red onion, you can use yellow onion, white onion, sweet onion, whatever kind of onion you like. Uh, I like red onions myself so I'm using a red onion. That's what I'm, I'm putting in here. It's just one medium sized red onion. And you can see it's diced up real fine. We're just going to Brown all this up together. We're just going to chop it up and brown it. Uh, get it good and brown. And once we get it good and brown, we'll drain it uh, real good. And then we'll be back and we're going to spice it up. And I'll show you how we do this. Okay, we got our ground beef uh, browned up here. And we're in our onions in it. Oh, we got it uh, drained. Pour it back in. We're going to put our burner on about medium here. And uh, I know you're probably wondering what does ground beef have to do with corn dogs. Well, it, just trust me, it'll all come together here in a little bit. All right. So to our ground beef and, and onion there, we're going to add one tablespoon of garlic. I mean, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, half teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and one teaspoon of uh, chili powder. I'm just going to sort of sprinkle that around on there. Get all that mixed in. And then here we have two cans of Rotel, and we're dumping that in, just uh, juice and all. Man, you talk about some good eating. This is gonna be a big, big casserole. I mean, one, you know, you you can probably half this recipe and be all right with it. But uh, if you like me, you know, you'll eat on it a couple of days. Here I got two cans of chili with beans. Now this is the chili with the beans in it. If you don't like the chili with beans, you can use a regular uh, just chili with no beans. And then if you want to, just uh, get you a couple of cans of whatever type of uh, beans you like and drain them and wrench them and then add them to it. It'll be just fine. And the good thing about this, like if if we wind up here and we got a little extra more than what we can get in a, to fit in a casserole dish, you can just put it in a bowl, put it in the refrigerator and heat it up, have it over, uh, you know, rice, you know, I mean your ground beef mixture or something like that. You know, you don't just have to use it all for uh, that. And what we want to do, I want to give that there. A quick stir here sort of get some of them spices and chili and all that that mix down in there so that they can go to warm and good we want everything to get good and hot everything in here of course is cooked now so you know we don't have to worry about uh, cooking it we just need to get it warmed up and mixed up good That looks good there. Now to that, we're going to add us about two heaping tablespoons of sour cream. Now, if you don't like sour cream, you don't have to add it. But I will tell you this, sour cream will add, add the flavor to it. I mean, it, it will make a difference in, in it. 
I'm just using that little spoon to stir that around now because I'm trying to get all that sour cream off that little spoon. There we go. All right, we're just going to get this heated up real good. Whenever we get it good and hot all the way through, then we're going to move over to the island and we'll meet y'all over there. Okay, we got our ground beef mixture uh, warmed up there. It started bubbling up on us. And what we got here, we got a 9 by 13 casserole dish. And what I want to do is I want to take and spray it with cooking spray. Don't have to spray it real heavy, but you know, just <clears throat> enough to keep anything sticking in it. And as bad as I hate to, I'm gonna have to turn this thing this way because I'm I, I just can't do it with my other hand. So I apologize for y'all having looked at the bottom of the skillet. But we're gonna just dump our, our meat mixture into our number 13. And we're just gonna spread that around there. And you can see what a good layer of meat we have there. Like I said, if if you feel like you make too much of it, you can take that out. That goes really good over uh, uh, rice, mashed potatoes, anything like that. <clears throat> now, we're going to just uh, set this over to the side here. And here we got, um, you know, I'm going to tell you, I've seen people, some people like to use Jiffy Corn Meal Mix on, on this recipe. Well, it's a corn dog casserole. So I'm going to give you a real easy corn dog batter recipe right here. Okay, so what we got here, we got two cups of yellow cornmeal. And to that, we're going to add one cup of all-purpose flour. That's, that's, that's not self-rising cornmeal, neither. It's just a plain cornmeal. <clears throat> All right. And then here, we have three tablespoons of bacon powder. We got two tablespoons of sugar and we got a half teaspoon of salt. That's all to bring out the sweetness in there also. And then here we have two cups of milk and we're just going to add us two eggs to our two cups of milk. Try to get that where y'all can see it. And just Add them two eggs in there and splash it everywhere. <laughs> I'm good at making a mess. Y'all know that by now. Get me a, a little whisk. And I'm just going to whisk those around there. Get them broke up and uh, try to get them mixed up some before I add them into my uh, batter, into my cornmeal mixture there. They don't have to be real good because we're going to mix them up in a cornmeal mixture. This is a real simple batter that you can use for corn, uh, like if you want to make homemade corn dogs. This is the same recipe that uh, you can use. Now, I got a uh, video on YouTube making homemade corn dogs, but in it, I, I used honey instead of sugar. Now, you, you can use the same recipe, but just Put three to four tablespoons of honey in it if you want to use honey uh, for it. I'm just going to take dump it and rest that in there, and I'm going to get me a spoon here to mix that with. Cause, uh, just get it mixed up good. Now to that, I got about a cup and a half to two cups of shredded cheese here. And we're going to just put probably about a, uh, about a cup, cup full in here in our batter. Now, of course, when you do the regular corn dogs, you won't add the cheese to it, not unless you just want cheese in your batter for your corn dogs. But, uh. We're just going to use it here because we want a little bit of cheese mixed in with our casserole. You know, casserole and casserole without cheese, right? And here, we're using 12 hot dogs. I got uh, eight here. 
I'm going to dump these eight hot dogs in here. Wieners, hot dogs, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to stir that up good. Just get them all coated good. We got our oven preheating to 375 degrees over there. What we're going to do, we're going to slide our meat mixture back over here. And we're just going to sort of pour this out on top of it, our corn dog mixture out on top of it. Man, you talk about some eating now. This is going to be some good eating here. Y'all going to have to try this because... It's, it's, it's better than just a plain corn dog. But you get the corn dog and you get the hot dog and you get the ground beef, you know, the chili. You get everything in one here. We're just going to rake it out of there. We're going to set that over out of the way and we're just going to sort of spread this out. Here, just let it, let it sort of get to the sides there. You can see them hot dogs in there. But we ain't done yet. No, we ain't. Here, we got four more hot dogs. Remember I told you we, hit, we was going to use 12. We got eight in there. And these here, we're just going to take them, drop around here on the top. Just to let them add a little bit extra to it. They don't have to be in no particular pattern or order or anything like that. You just want to get them spread around good. So let everybody get some of that goodness. It'll be just a little bit different taste flavor, you know, than the ones that's down in the in the corn dog uh, batter there. And what we're going to do, we're going to stick this in the oven at 375 degrees. We're going to let it go for about 20 to 30 minutes until you know our batter gets uh, pretty well good and done. And then we're going to add uh, that other half cup of cheese uh, to the top and stick it back in the oven just long enough to melt cheese. And whenever we get that done, we'll take it out and we'll bring you back. And we're going to dig into it at that point. Okay, we got our uh, corn dog ground beef casserole out of the oven there. And now we're going to cut into it and we're going to dip us out some of it and we're going to see what we got inside. Boy, I can't wait to get into this joker myself. I know it's going to be good. Make sure I get me some of them in there hot dogs and stuff. Man. Oh yeah. Look at that, that would you? Just look at that. Man. That cheese, I'm going to get me a little bit more of that, 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 that stuff there. Ooh, man. She's smoking hot, but I bet she's going to be good. Get us a little taste of it and see what we got here. Make sure I get me a hot dog in there with that too. I'm going to load that for a minute. Mm. 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 Man, I tell you what, that tastes like a corn dog, a chili dog, a hot dog, all mixed in one. That is scrum dumpless dish -less, -less. I mean, it is something. I, it, words can't even explain it. Y'all got to try this here recipe. Hey. If you would, give the old video a thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you do. We appreciate all of you take time out of your day to watch our videos. Corn dog, ground beef casserole. We'll see you on the next one.